He wasn't out there dinking and dunking on his, uh, his two drives last night. Hertz average pass traveled 13.3 yards. The average in the NFL last season was 7.7. .7, so Hertz taking his shots downfield. So we talked about the rookie quarterback in New England. Hertz not a rookie, but looks to be set up to be Philly's starter to open the season. Mike T, what did you think watching Jalen Hurts last night? Overall, I was encouraged, like the stat showed, Dan. He got the ball down the field. I think statistically his completion percentage was a little misleading because there were some drops. But if we go back a year ago, he only was a 52% completion percentage. Now, that was only on 148 attempts. So I think in fairness, we got to see more. If I'm them, I'm cautiously optimistic. But gosh, I can't sit here and say we got our quarterback of our future. But Getting the ball down the field was an important first step for him last night. Gorger, what do you think? Yeah, I would definitely agree with you, Mike T. As someone who was a Jalen Hurst detractor his rookie season, I'm very optimistic because last night what I saw, I saw his feet calm down. You know, as a rookie, when you're back there, his feet were moving all over the place because he's got that athletic ability. He wants to get out on the run. But last night, there were several throws. When he dropped back, he looked, his feet were calm. He kind of moved the pocket to the right, reset it. But more importantly, he was accurate down the field. Now, he's not perfect yet. He's not a finished product. But from, the, from his rookie year to now, the improvement I've seen, I'm very encouraged where he could go. But he's got a long way to go because I think eventually you know what he is as an athlete. You know he can move around and make plays with his legs. But this game is not won by quarterbacks running the football. See Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. You have to be able to throw the football down the field with accuracy, and he's got to continue to improve upon that. But so far, week one of the preseason for the Eagles – I think I like where he's at. So, Mike T., this is a unique situation, right? They draft him in the second round last year. They already have Carson Wentz, who they at the time thought was the long-term answer. The organizational plan has changed. The coaching staff has changed. If you're the Eagles right now, are you looking at Hurts and saying, we think he's our long-term answer? Well, I think similar to Booger is it's a great of incomplete. And the expression of the tape sets the floor and character sets the ceiling really applies here because he's a great kid. And if his weaknesses can get better and he can become more accurate down the field, like Booger just said, he could be a frontline starter. Now, what Philly's done a great job of, Dan, is barring something unforeseen, they'll have three first-round picks if Carson Wentz plays more than 75% of the snaps. So they'll be sitting there from a position of strength if maybe, hypothetically, Deshaun Watson trade up in the first round next year. So it's a wait-and-see approach with Hurts, see if he gets better. And now we're dealing from a position of strength because we have three first-round picks in all likelihood next year. And this situation the, with the first-round picks and the other possible solutions has received no shortage of coverage in Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, Booger, is surely aware of this. What's his mindset knowing that maybe the organization has a little bit of a wandering eye at the position? Well, as a player and as a young player, he's not established in this league. He's got to understand this is only his second year. So regardless of what the front office is doing, as a second-year player, you go out, you perform, you get ready to go, you continue getting better. But Mike T., I'm glad you dropped that little nugget about character in the ceiling and tape the floor. After all these years, I finally figured out why the Tampa Bay Buccaneers traded me. I was a high character guy, but my tape wasn't very good. So finally, I figured out why I got traded all these years later. Thank you, Mike T. I really appreciate that, buddy. Absolutely. Right. And I hope well, you got paid well as part of that trade. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.